Unlock your potential with a comprehensive suite of investing tools and expert education with Gamma Edge. Start your free 14-day trial today. There's no white box, and it's because the algorithm doesn't know how to treat this because this is not a normal situation. So the, the algorithm that finds the white box between the two dots when the green is above the red is basically saying, nah, this doesn't work. And it's pretty clear that transition is sitting right, right down here at the 4445. This is with everything turned on because you can see, clearly you can see the transition in your eye. And if we look here, you can clearly see there's a transition area right in here. So there's no, I mean, there's no confusion with that. Where, where the confusion comes in is that all of a sudden we got this JPM. This is the end of month, September. This is what we call the Papa Bear. This is the big uh, strike that rolls on uh, 929. Um, it's 39,000 short calls which are sitting there. And so the algorithm comes along and it's looking at all of this, this gamma and it's saying, where is the negative GEX in the system? And it, it says it's here. It doesn't look any at anything else, but it's basically saying, okay, here's the minus GEX. And clearly, if I didn't tell you anything about this, I didn't show you where the green was, you would clearly say, yep, that's the biggest negative going gamma. And a short call in, in put call parity language, a short call is a long put for the same expiry, okay? So this, this is the same thing as this. So a short call, which we know these are short calls, looks like a long put. There's no, no ambiguity there. And this is why the system says, hey, this is minus gex. And this is why it tags it right here as minus gex. Oh, and this is, this is valid. And this is due to the JPM hedge fund one roll that occurs in September at the end of September. And this thing will continue to exert its influence on us because the short calls are going to be influential as we get through time, as, as price goes up or down. You can imagine they will be in the money or out of the money, depending on if we're above and below this. And that obviously controls delta, the sign of the delta, and all the stuff that we normally talk about. So we, we track that. And that's why this number, by the way, is negative. Uh, because we know there's 39,000 short calls sitting up there. And you can see the number is minus 39,000. 77, which is just a coincidence that it happens to be 39,000 right now. So that's why the bubbles are reversed. And this is also, we had some questions today. That's why you don't see a white box down here for the transition. And this is where the art of interpretation is going to have to replace the machine learning uh, interpretation because the algorithm we gave to the, uh, uh, the, the plotting program the, to identify where the transitions are, um, we did. I, I have not written out the case where the bubbles are reversed because this actually is pretty clean. It doesn't look this clean all the time. The transition doesn't necessarily always look like this, so it gets ugly for mathematics to kind of figure out where all this is. Uh, this one's simple. Your eye can see it here, but the algorithm in general doesn't have a good good time of of visualizing that so normal condition due to jpm what i would do in the landscape mode i would ask yourself what's the next biggest one it's right here happens to be 4405 so this is basically telling us that 4405 or any of these down in this particular area could be minus gex we know this is not liquid we know it's not liquid. And perhaps we could build something in because this is part of a lookup table that we have where we track um, known, uh, known structured trades. Maybe we could put something in the algo to say, hey, if it's in the structured trade table, you know, ignore it and go find the next one. And you know, that's something that we could talk 
talk about, but I, I think in concept, you, you probably see what's, what's going on here and why, uh, why this occurs.